Matthew Wilde, Tyler Fukukusa, and Christian Catalano first appeared on the Tigers' radar two years ago when they were teammates and played on the same line for the Junior Canadians. Brian was on the road and watched uh, the Junior Canadians play, and that's, this is, wow, uh, these, these three guys are pretty good, and we just kept following up on them, and um, we went from there. And uh, Because you don't normally think of getting more than one guy off a team, to be honest with you, never mind three and, and three of them that play together. But the Tigers did get all of them. Fukukusa committed first, followed by Catalano, and finally Wild. You know, after those two got committed, we were talking about it like it'd be pretty cool for, you know, our whole line to go in, so it was kind of like a fingers crossed type of thing. And then uh, Hillsy came out and watched us, so did Wayne, and uh, I guess they liked what they saw and decided to bring me in and bring us in, bring us in as a line. And that line has stuck together, which is made for an easy transition. It's fantastic, honestly, like going, spending time with a group of guys and juniors and then coming and then meeting them again and uh, NCAA hockey is just a dream come true, right? Like it's something that like, you know, you're comfortable coming in. Usually maybe you're not as comfortable coming in as a rookie and it's just good seeing familiar faces. I think there was uh, a lot of chemistry there. Um, every single game we, we just uh, started to build more trust um, between each other and uh, you didn't really have to think when we play together, right? The game just flows, so uh, it makes it a lot easier out there and it's a lot of fun. The trio is having a lot of fun off the ice too, where they may spend more time together than anyone else. Uh, we're all great friends, like even off the ice, like we hang out with each other all the time, like out of school, in school, in the summers, we're always around each other. So it's great just always being around these guys and just building great connections with them. Never get sick of them? Ah, uh, you know, you always get sick of some people, so, but like, no, we, we, we love each other. Me and Matt live together, but uh, Caddy's always over uh, any time he gets the chance to, so uh, we're all really tight. Uh, we're all from Mississauga, just like you said. Uh, we hang out in the summers. Uh, yeah, we're really tight. You really, you think you know a guy, then you start living with him, you know even more, but he's a great guy, like great to be around, good around the house, cleans, cooks, you know, takes care of his end, so it's, uh, it's good, it definitely makes you really close. Yeah, you can say they're inseparable, and on the ice, that still holds true too, for now. Very unusual for a coach to keep them together when they're first year college, so just because they played together and that, and I don't know how long that'll stay, but, uh, uh, but they have uh, played well together and we haven't wanted to break it up for, for whatever reason. But, uh, uh, but yeah, they're, they're off to a very, very good start um, and uh, their best is yet to come.